What's good, Profit Junkie Gang? What's up? I'm back. Uh, so, sorry I've been gone for so long. I've been gone for a couple of weeks. But uh, as you do, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I'm actually in college. I go to the University of Arizona. And uh, this past couple of weeks, it's been kind of hectic with uh, finals and such. So, I've been really focusing on that. But uh, I'm back and uh, I'll be a lot more consistent now, that's for sure. Um, I got some notes over here, so yeah. Uh, so I was swing trading UCO. Well, I was uh, kind of in this whole final situation. I haven't been able to really focus on trading as much as I wanted to, but um, yeah, so I've been trading UCO, as you guys can see. Um, we go to monitor. So um, I previously sold UCO. I bought, uh, I think it was somewhere 215 shares for uh, $14. If you guys remember in my previous video, I said that uh, I wanted to buy UCO at the 13 or $14 range. That's where I felt comfortable. And I did that. I swing traded UCO for a week and I made about 700 plus dollars, which is great. And uh, <clears throat> I waited again for UCO after I sold and I felt comfortable based off of everything that I saw. Let's go back. Uh, as you can see, I bought uh, 270 at uh, seven, I mean, 1737. And uh, yeah, so some indicators. We're at the 15 minute chart right now. As you can see, it's kind of, uh, the MACD is showing us that it's below you know, and which is which is okay because this is on a 15 minute range. But if we move it up to like an hour, then you can see the difference. The MACD is actually above, and I feel like there is potential for it to continue a little bit higher. I'm looking, um, I'm looking for uh, probably like nineteen dollars because kind of trade up here. As you can see, I already have a bunch of alerts set. But uh, yeah, so I'm looking to sell UCO at probably like $19, $19. Then I see it dropping back down again, kind of finding that uh, support level. And uh, I believe that'll take place probably this week. Uh, as you can see, this has been like $15 has been a tremendous support here. So uh, depending on if it gets rejected up here, So I'm thinking it might get rejected up here at the 19, I don't know, 1930 area. So I'm gonna try to play this. If it breaks this area, then we're in business. If not, whatever. But uh, basically I will be trading this uh, UCO going ahead. Uh, with that being said, why I'm trading UCO? <clears throat> and that's basically because uh, I see potential in it uh, in this month. Really, I think it could reach up to the 25 area, kind of that maximum uh, area. So making oil probably uh, hit a hit highs of probably like $30 to be honest. Like I, I believe oil will come back to here and like test these areas uh, sooner or later and then uh, probably get rejected, come back down to this area to find some support, maybe up to 20 area, but yeah. Um, some things to, the, to keep in mind are uh, So, for those who for those who's at who are asking, 
uh, like, why should I trade UCO, like, right now? I'm, I'm saying that you should trade if you feel comfortable. You know, for all the messages I've been receiving, you should trade if you feel comfortable. And long-term wise, I do see potential in it. But don't take my word, you know, do what's necessary for you. Uh, but also, like an update on uh, OPEC. So like we have, as of May 1st, we've begun, or the OPEC collaborative uh, countries that produce oil have begun cutting around 10 million plus barrels of oil, which is excellent news. And then on top of that, so many, uh, so many uh, rigs, uh, oil rigs, not just in the US, Canada, Mexico, um, shoot, even in Europe, uh, Saudi Arabia, you know, Russia have had to cut rigs because the cost of production just take the oil out of the ground is costing them so much money that they have decided to just you know, cut out some of their rigs, which means that the supply of oil is decreasing substantially. And sooner or later, these uh, demand and support, uh, demand and supply will have to come to an equilibrium. And after that, demand is gonna go above. And I think this could take place this month or maybe in the next next month. But in between that time, uh, UCO will be finding the support that it needs. UCO could be finding the support it needs like bouncing. As you guys can see right here, you know, it keeps coming down and up and down. And I've been able to trade these ups. So now we're gonna see if it's gonna reach up here or if it passes this up to this area, like, like up here, 1880 something. I'm looking for that part. I wanna see if it tests those points. If it does, then that's good news. But if it doesn't, then that means you wanna hold it and just be patient. That's what it comes down to. Uh, with that being said, what else do I have? Uh, so based off of the things that I've seen and things that I've read and analyzed, I think that oil is, I'm, I don't wanna say it is already making a recovery, but I, I believe it is on its way to making a recovery. <clears throat> Uh, you know, businesses are starting to open all over the U.S. now, and I'm sure not too not too long from here, uh, businesses overseas will start opening. Uh, boats will be moving. You know, imports, exports. There's a lot of stuff that's going to be taking place. So, I think this is a good time to capitalize on what's in front of us all. So. Uh, these are the moves I'll be making and uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm back. I'm gonna be got I'm gonna be posting a lot more and if you guys have any questions You know, let me know down below, but uh, you guys should subscribe like and Whatever else comment show me some love uh, if you guys have any anything to help out with, let me know. But with that being said, I appreciate y'all. It's Prophet Junkie. Peace.